I just view the brief about the natural numbers. Okay. Uh, people may some people might have already from the mainframe background. So if you are from the mainframe background, it will be easy for you to correlate to between the natural data bus and Cobai DB2. Okay. So how we have a Cobai DB2? Cobai is as a programming language and a DB2 as a database management system. Okay. Like that, we have the natural is a programming language and Adabas is the database. Okay, which inter, inter, internally connect with the natural. Okay, see, natural and Adabas is the software AG products which runs mainly on the mainframe environment. Then that means the IBM mainframe environment, JetOS. Uh, but recently, uh, software AG come up with another product called soft, uh, natural one. So that is, we are also cover that natural one also. Uh, uh, natural one, which we, are, we can able to do the coding on the um, instead of mainframe editor. As you people know that mainframe editor means we have that uh, uh, mainframe editor will be there where we make all the changes like Koba changes or natural changes are there. So to get rid of the mainframe editor, the software AG has been the another uh, <coughs> software called natural one which is developed on the Eclipse, mainly on the Eclipse platform. Okay. So now how the natural way work means. Okay. So natural programming can be used as online programming as well as the batch programming okay so batch programming means you people know that we are going to execute the program in the jca so the jca by giving some in, uh, input data set or expecting some output to output data set or uh, generating some report or something like that so uh, mostly in the batch programs will be executed in the uh, off business time like in the night time or evening time or uh, <coughs> on the weekends now right? that is the batch programming so online programming is nothing but that is the GUI. So graphical user interface is just like that. Uh, how we are seeing the CACS screen. Okay. Or uh, uh, if you people uh, know about the online platforms like the uh, ICS or something like that, how you see the all these things uh, like that, we can able to develop the online screen using the same natural programming. Okay. So no need to learn something new. Oh, new about the other language just like our CACS when you working on a COBA you people know might know that uh, we need CACS to develop the online transaction so here it is not required only for the Adabas and Nature is required on to develop the both batch programming and online programming and also another thing is that in the online programming when you are using the CACS normally we don't use directly um uh, db2 instead of that we use the directive vcm files okay like that also here also wow here also we have that but instead of that vcm we directly use the adabas uh, tables only because uh, now my ibm used to charge so much of money when you are uh, inserting the data updating the data in db2 but whereas the adabas is not like that since it is a software age product now uh, and uh, it is it will become along with that so uh, normally it won't be like that so it is a uh, normally chargeable so we directly use the adabas uh, adabas table uh, when we are uh, when it comes to online programming it's about the nature okay so what would be the difference between the db2 and uh, adabas okay so normally we know that db2 is a rdbms we call it rdbms okay uh, relational database management system where we have the primary key concept and foreign key concept and referential integrity concept uh, referential integrity concept like uh, on the relationship between the primary key and foreign key and another thing is that when you are up updating the primary key what will happen to foreign key and one when you are deleting the primary key what will happen to foreign key or if you are deleting the foreign key what will happen to primary key this concept is there in rdbms mainly mainly with idb2 but when it comes to that uh, other pass we don't have any anything called referential integrity that means that we have a key concept but we don't have a referential key concept that means that keys will be there in the different tables okay but we are not relating those keys just like that for primary key for foreign key we don't relate the both keys in the tables we just use the tables just like that and as a developer we know that the how the integrity works in between the keys so that is how the table will be different we don't have any key concept like we don't have a primary key we don't have a foreign key in the adabas tables 
we call them as a descriptor. So instead of a key, you call them as a descriptor in our boss. At the same time, we have a different type of descriptors where we can uh, go when we go through that different concept, we explain. So, but here there is no foreign key or uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, primary key like that when compared with DB2. So that is the main difference. The another difference in the ADA bus is nothing but see when you, when you are trying to define a uh, customer okay assume that um, uh, Baskara Venkat is a, our customer okay Baskara might have a multiple mobile numbers and multiple email IDs or you know multiple addresses with a, uh, you know current address or you know uh, something or other address suppose when it comes to providing that uh, different addresses and uh, storing the data in DB2 what we need to do is we need to create a different columns in DB2, like uh, mobile number one, mobile number two, mobile number three, something like that. But whereas in whereas in Arabas, we have a future card multi-value field. Okay, so what is the meaning of multi-value field? You define your field as a mobile number, as a multi-value field, where it will accept 191 occurrences of the data. Okay, so within the mobile number, okay, you can able to insert 191 uh, records into that one. You know that how we can able to access by giving the index we can able to access the data okay so here no need to create a different columns in the table so instead of that we can create a one column and use the same column to store how many mobile numbers or how many addresses you want to store you can able to store that one that one is there so that is the main advantage of the ADA bus so that is called multi-value field yeah? and another thing is that periodic there is another variable called periodic value. Okay, so what is now? Now multi value is nothing but one one by one matrix. So periodic is nothing but two by two matrix. How we have the two by two matrix is there, right? Like that we can able to use define it column within our table. Okay, as a periodic variable. Okay, let's say that. Okay, we have a address is there, address column is there. But in the within the address we have the house number street name uh, location name state pin code will be there like that you want you want to enter different uh, addressing uh, within the address that means that if you can define it as a periodic variable so you can for the group of the variables you can define as a periodic variable so that you can uh, enter the multi multi values into that periodic variables so multi value is nothing but a single variable periodic variable is the multiple single variable is coming under periodic variable so these are the main two features when we differentiate between the DB2 and Adabas. So that is the difference. And also when it comes to that uh, Cobalt DB2, the pre-compilation process, binding process, uh, multiple process is there. Okay. So when you are working on a natural Adabas, we don't have any pre-compilation process or no binding process. Nothing is there. As I said that both the software uh, software as products and both come interlinked so that this process is not required. So you can save so much of time when you do the compilation or execution of the natural Adabas program. Okay, the binding issues, pre-compilation issue, these are these are not uh, not applicable for natural Adabas. So that is another main thing. So this is a just a brief about the natural and Adabas. As I mentioned that, okay. So I have a Google Drive. Uh, see here the Google Drive is there. What I will do means I will upload all the softwares, softwares and PPTs which is required for your training. Okay, everything will be available in the Google Drive, and this Google Drive will be uh, shared to you people. Okay, in the group you can uh, message me. Uh, your, your <coughs> sorry, uh, I, I will ask you your email IDs so that if you provide the your email IDs. I can uh, provide, give me the give you the access to that Google Drive. So all the materials, I mean, what are the PPTs, PDFs, softwares which I am going to use, everything will be here, and including in the some some of the things which is not required. Maybe if you want, you can take it. If you don't want, it, that is not an issue. Okay, you can see that everything will be available here. So mainly we are going to use uh, this one, Natural Essential PDF. And another thing is that updated natural PPT. Next is that Adabas latest PPT. These are the three PPTs we I am going to use as part of this training. Okay. Only one thing is that see uh, GitHub 
people who are interested to learn about the GitHub, you can install the GitHub. I'll just leave it like that. <coughs> source tree. There's another thing called source tree, which is not required to for you people. But anyway, so there's a uh, software which, which need to be uploaded into this PDF. So I Google Dev. I will upload the softwares by today. Uh, yesterday I tried, but uh, due to some net, net connectivity issue, I couldn't able to upload the software. Today I upload the software and I will share it to you people. Uh, sorry guys, I'm just keep on talking. Uh, so any any questions, guys? Oh, will you send me the path for that Google Drive? So and the password if there is any. Uh, Venkata, I will share that Google Drive link to you people. Just uh, sure. give me your email ID. I will just sure, send sure. me in the WhatsApp. By today, EOD, I will share that uh, path to you people. Sure. Yeah. And also, as I mentioned, that I need to upload some of the softwares into that Google Drive because I just deleted some time back because of size issue. So, again, today I will upload the softwares which is required for our training. So I will show you to you people that how to configure that software and how to use that software and uh, all these things. That will be uh, from my side. I will tell you that and how you can able to troubleshoot yourself about that software when you are trying to use it. Suppose if it is not working properly, if it is not complying properly, you are not getting proper result. I will show you that how to rectify yourself about that uh, uh, software. Okay, that is also I, I inform to you by from tomorrow onwards. Any other questions, guys? See, when it comes to the training, you don't worry about the training because uh, uh, I am into this particular training from a long time. Okay, so in initially I started the training on the natural bus within the organization. Okay. After that, I, I used to give the training for the corporate trainings, okay, to the different clients. But this is the first time I'm coming to the public and I'm giving to the training, okay. So this is the, my first public appearance training, actually, when it comes to the natural numbers. After multiple corporate trainings and multiple batches, I trained within my organization. So I, I will start from the scratch to the advanced level and uh, there and there, whenever you people are getting, uh, you know, some doubts, I will clarify. And at the end of the sessions, maybe I will show you those some of the sample programs where the cowboy with Adabas. Okay, normally the cowboy with Adabas is with, uh, you, you don't see such type of programs, but I will show you some uh, sample programs with the cowboy with the Adabas also. Uh, but the compilation and execution process remains the same. Okay, how you compile the pre compilation and uh, how you do the binding and other things are the same when it comes to the cobai and adabas only when it comes to the natural adabas it is not required okay that is another thing uh, timings are okay fine so uh, actually today we sent only the meeting invite for the only today only so now uh, hereafter you will get the continuous meeting invite for the continuous days because just we want to get the opinion from the people about their timings and other things uh, that's why we created only one occurrences of the meeting so today uh, you will get the multiple me multiple day meeting by today you would and tomorrow onwards the regular sessions will start so i would like to take any questions uh, you know if you have any questions or anything so today uh, just uh, Take it as a demo session and tomorrow onwards the actual training will start so don't worry about the timings and whether we can able to cover or anything if it is required i can extend my timings i my extend my dates also that is not a problem Uh, just uh, be, uh, before closing, uh, Bhaskar, good morning or uh, good evening. So, Bhaskar, where are you from? Just to we introduce ourselves. Hi, um, uh, good morning, guys. Uh, so, uh, I am from US, um, Baltimore, Maryland, close to Washington, DC. 
and uh, I work as a mainframe developer. Um, it's almost like uh, 15 years. Yeah, thanks, Buster. Venkat? Yeah, hi. Hi, good, good. I think good morning for everyone. Uh, I'm also attending from the US. I'm working in the Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm working for the American Express. It's almost I have 17 years of experience in mainframe. And good. I work for other technologies, except uh, I'm, I'm working in this natural database, but not uh, uh, I'm not aware of 100% what it is, but uh, just I'm yeah, managing yeah. the things. Yeah, <laughs> so far. OK. Hilma, is it? I am pronouncing correctly your name. Yeah, it's Shelma actually. Shelma. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm from Nagarkoil, uh, Tamil Nadu, and um, uh, I've been I've been working for Alliance for quite a while, and uh, it's I have about uh, five years of experience in mainframe. And um, I, I'm new to Natural Adabas, like all of you. Uh, natural Adabas is new to my project also. So I, hopefully I'll learn a lot from this session. Yeah. So if you don't mind, what is your project? Um, I work for uh, Alliance Technology. OK, OK. So Alliance, Alliance Insurance, right? Yes, yes. Yes, the aliens. It's like, you know, Bella's, Bella's aliens like that. Aliens. That's the client, I think. So. Ah, yes, exactly. Yes, yes. Nasima? Yeah, um, good morning. And this is Nasima from Hyderabad. Uh, I was working in mainframe developer four years experience. I did. Okay. So guys, today, uh, if you don't mind, I am wind up the session. So tomorrow onwards, the actual sessions will start. Okay, the meeting invite you will get it in the uh, WhatsApp. Okay. Uh, is this same sure, invite? Sure. Or you, every day you will get same same one invite. No, I no, think no, he said no. he will uh, give see, another invite. No, yeah. Yeah, today uh, we will give another invite because uh, just to today we want to get the opinion from the people about the timings. So because of that reason, we send only one occurrence. So from tomorrow notes, uh, it will be regular occurrence will be there. So that's why my first question is that is that okay with the timing? Okay, okay. So tomorrow notes once one, one uh, uh, same invite will be we can use it for the yeah whole. same in, yeah only one invite will be there. The same invite you can able to use that. Okay. I, I uh, we will share that invite uh, details also, Master. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Have a nice Thanks, day. Mama.